Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Roshni Dhal. Let's look at today's top health highlights. Brain stroke cases increasing in younger population. Brain stroke has long been considered a disease of the elderly, but recent data suggests it is now commonly occurring in young population in India as well. The occurrence of stroke in young adults is particularly concerning as these patients in the prime of their life are often affected by physical disability, depression, cognitive impairment and loss of productivity, all of which have serious personal, social and economic implications. On occasion of the World Stroke Day 2022, doctors of Amrita Hospital Faridabad are talking about the rising incidence of stroke in India in lower age groups. Dr. Sanjay Pandey, Head Department of Neurology, Amrita Hospital, Faridabad said that the stroke is the second most common cause of death and the third leading cause of death and disability combined in the world. So it is a matter of serious concern that it is no longer a disease of the elderly in our country. A hospital-based study from India has shown that the proportion of strokes in young people now ranges from 15 to 30 percent. In another population-based study in the country, 8.8% of total stroke patients were found to belong to the younger age group. The traditional risk factors of brain stroke include hypertension, diabetes mellitus and hyperlipidemia. However, there are several other risk factors that are unique to the young Indian population according to the doctor. Cardioembolic stroke is the most common cause of stroke in young people in India. In this, a blood clot arises in the heart, travels to the brain and blocks an artery, leading to a stroke. Dr. Sanjay Pandey also said that cerebral venous thrombosis, a rare type of stroke, is also more common in India. In a study, CVT was found to be 12 times more common in India than in Western population. In a hospital-based study from India, CVT was reported in 16.3% of total strokes in young which is higher than other reported studies all over the world. Also, the incidence of CVT is higher in females during pregnancy or the postpartum period. The gender bias is more important for the Indian population where access to healthcare for females, especially those who are pregnant, is poor. Stroke may also occur in children. The risk factors for pediatric stroke in India are different from developed countries. Lack of adequate oxygen before or after birth along with infection-related disorders affecting arteries in the brain are some of the leading causes of stroke in Indian children. Sadly, two-thirds of children surviving stroke go on to develop a neurological disability, according to Dr. Sanjay Pandey. Concluding that there is an urgent need to do more population-based studies regarding stroke in India to know the exact prevalence, etiology and incidence rates. That's all for today. Stay safe. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.